doing something a little bit different today. I might have gone to Glasgow and well I didn't really buy much but I bought one thing. I've been a bit like should I make a video on it? Should I not? It's not K-pop related but it is anime related and it is da -da 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 -da. <laughs> this is Kakashi from Naruto and I think this is officially the tallest anime figure that I own. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit worried that it's not gonna fit in my cabinet because I have placed the shelves where they are tall enough for a 10 inch figure and this is 11 point something so close to 12 inches tall so I thought I'd do an unboxing of this if this video flops it flops if not great <laughs> this is a Banpresto Grandista um, manga dimensions figure which I usually do buy Ban, Ban Presto Grandista models um, because I just love them I think they're high quality and they're reason reasonably priced this one I actually got for half price which is the main reason why I bought it I bought this from I think it's Menkind yes Menkind I want to say Mankind but it's Menkind um, bought this from Menkind and I think originally it was like 70 or 60 odd pound but I got it for 30 odd so yeah uh, they were having a sale I think it was up to 50% off so I decided to have a wee nosy and spotted Kakashi picked him up put him back because I wasn't entirely convinced I was gonna buy him yet and then I saw Bakugo which my favorite my hero character by the way had the back go in my hand, was prepared to buy him. He had like 10 pound off. And then I looked at Kakashi again and he was in the cabinet, like the display cabinet. So I looked at him again, I was like, oh, this is such a nice model. And then I noticed it was like this amount off. And I was like, wait a minute. So then I looked at the tag again for the one on the shelves and I was like, wait, he's actually got like a hefty price off. It was like 30 odd pound off. So I was like, hold on put back a go back I'm getting Kakashi <laughs> so got Kakashi so this is one of the manga dimensions ones which basically means that it has more shading than normal um, I have seen some of these before like just in display cabinets and I've, I really like the style of them but nah I just decided today was the day we were getting a Kakashi model because I don't have Kakashi yet, I have Sasuke. His was a Grandista, from Presto Grandista model as well. And his is the only one that I have that has like interchangeable faces and an arm. Whereas all the rest of mine just like stay basically the same. <laughs> so excited to get him out of the box. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Oh yeah, I should probably do my intro before I move on. So if you're new here, hiya, how do you? You can call me Lulu. And well, usually I'd say, and today we're doing, but I've already gone through that. So moving on. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to open them here or somewhere else. I mean, it's going to be hard for me to film them anywhere because I don't have a lot of space on my desk and on the floor. It's very hard to get an angle with my phone to like film it. Like, I don't know, I just struggle with it. Like the whole phone holder, I feel like it just doesn't angle down. So I can't get like a nice bird's eye view top angle. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think I'll open it here and then I'll film something separately, maybe later. I'm never prepared for these things. <laughs> There's always tape and I can never get it off. And I never have scissors to hand. Right, I have so many pairs of scissors, it's unreal. Yet, I never have any nearby when I need them. Whoa, that was sloppy.
pretty cool background to that one. Ooh, it's a really cool background. You can't really see it when he's in there. <laughs> He is massive. <laughs> the only thing he's missing is his book. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Whoops. So here he is in all his glory. So as you can see, he has a lot of shading to him, which is what this specific series of Grandista models is all about. It's like showing all the different shading on the character and just making them ever so slightly more detailed. Like he is pretty sturdy, made of plastic, not too heavy, but heavy enough that he'll stay upright basically. I just love the shading on the face. It's the highlights and shadows that really make it. Kakashi is just one of the most beloved characters in Naruto. I'm so glad I got a Kakashi model. I have actually wanted one of Kakashi for a while. It's just that I've had other characters that I wanted before him, but you know, when you get a good deal, you get a good deal. <laughs> I still really want a Bakugo model, but the thing with Bakugo is there's certain models where he's very expressive, he's very angry. Um, and a lot of the times, he just looks goofy. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but the problem with certain models is their faces. And back ago especially, I found this to be really difficult to just find a model where his face doesn't look horrible. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I did find one today. Um, I would have probably preferred a bigger one. But it would have done. However, Kakashi. <laughs> For comparison, I've decided to bring out his Team 7 student, Sasuke. Um, so this is the comparison. Kakashi is taller and has a lot more shading. So this is a basic uh, Van Presto Grandista model. The shading is a lot more subtle. I did not mean to give you the finger there, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wasn't intentional. Um, so the shading is very subtle, barely noticeable. And then with Kakashi, there's a lot more contrast. So it stands out from further away. From a distance, you know, can't see it that much. From a distance, notice it a bit more. That's the comparison between the normal Van Presto Grandista model and the Van Presto Grandista Manga Dimensions model. <laughs> so there's a lot of words to remember. <laughs> it's very hard to get the titles right and flow out of the mouth. Just not, not for me. <laughs> I struggle every day. I've got a terrible memory. Um, <laughs> but let me know in the comments. Do you watch Naruto or even Boruto? Um, I know how some people feel about Boruto. If you do watch Naruto, who's your favorite character? Mine is Sasuke. Yes, sad boy Sasuke. Um, <laughs> thing is, I actually love his backstory and a lot of people hate on him because they're like, oh, he's so moody. It's like, well, wouldn't you be too if your own brother like massacred your entire family? Just think about it and cut me some slack. <laughs> There's a dog. <laughs> For anyone who hasn't seen Naruto yet and um, isn't up to that point and is really looking forward to watching Naruto, I am sorry if I've spoiled anything for you as well. It's been out for ages. I think everyone should know that by now. So yeah. I also love spoilers by the way. So full warning for the future. <laughs> I really like spoilers because I like knowing what's going to happen and then I like seeing what happens for myself if that makes sense like I know that some people don't get it but 
trust me like i i just love it like i am one of these people could you not i actually did this i had planned to go to the cinema to watch endgame and the morning that we were gonna go see it i googled the spoilers so that i knew what was gonna happen <laughs> and then i was like this body's gonna die soon it's like how is he gonna die or like because the spoilers would tell me a little bit but not enough so then i'd be like i know he's gonna die but how's he gonna die <laughs> so then i'd get like really into it and i'm like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen <laughs> and then the people who i was with were like please shut up we don't want to know we don't like spoilers and i'm like okay <laughs> or even if people do tell me how it happens like because i haven't seen it like, I want to know if it's different from how I imagined it. So, like, I get that it's hard for people who don't watch or who don't like spoilers to understand, but trust me, I love spoilers. <laughs> so, just to show you guys what I did with Kakashi, I put him at the back because my poor small boy Deku, he is shorter than the rest of my models. So, I've had to move him forward. I wanted Kakashi to be next to Sasuke. So luckily he fits though, there is space. So I have Kakashi, Deku and Sasuke. Deku is another Banpresto Grandista model. Up here we have my One Piece models. Um, I'm just going to say this right now. I haven't watched that many episodes of One Piece. I know what happens to Ace, but I haven't gotten as far as to see it for myself. I do, however, love Ace. I think he would have been my favourite character had I continued to watch One Piece. And then we have Roa... is it Roanora? Roanora Zoro. I feel like I'm just saying his last name wrong. Roanora Zoro. I actually got him while I was on holiday in Spain, and I got him because I have the exact same sense of direction as him. <laughs> like, even if I've been somewhere before, it doesn't matter, I will still turn the wrong way. And I will walk in that direction without really thinking. And then I'll realize when I think I should be at my destination, I'm like, I've been going the wrong way, haven't I? <laughs> so yeah, I have the worst sense of direction ever. Please do not follow me. And then down here, this one was my very first anime figure and it is a limited edition Super Saiyan Vegeta. Absolutely love him. He is actually ceramic. Um, I can't actually remember who it's by, but I think there was only like a thousand produced and I think I have like I think it's number 300 and something. It does actually have a number in the box, but I just don't want to go look. <laughs> but yeah, he's limited edition and he's my very first one. To be fair, I'm not really into Dragon Ball. I've never really watched it. The only thing I did watch and absolutely loved was Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Abridged. Like, I loved that so much and Vegeta was my favorite character. So one of my friends from college, um, she knew that I loved um, Dragon Ball of Bridge Vegeta. So she got me this model um, for Secret Santa. Just as a little side note, I also got some supplies for my folk cards. So something K-pop related. I got these sleeves off of Amazon. I'd seen some people recommending them, so I've been a bit keen to try them. See if they're a bit thick like thicker than the ones I have because I really want thicker um, sleeves for my photo cards just because I am slightly traumatized over what happened to my Felix photo card. I still don't know how it happened. Like I don't know if it came out of the album like that or if it's something that I've done and I just haven't noticed. But yeah, I just, I want thicker sleeves and hopefully these will be the sleeves that I feel most comfortable with, but we'll see. <laughs> I also bought some, this is noisy, I also bought some thank you cards off Amazon as well because I haven't had any supplies for doing trades because I've never, well I've done one trade before 
and basically for that trade what I did was I reused a thank you card that I got when I ordered spoke cards and I reused the washi tape and I reused the top loader <laughs> because I didn't have infants so I've been keeping the top loaders they're they're fine to use but I wanted different thank you cards and I have ordered washi tape but that hasn't came yet so I'm getting supplies so I should be ready to do trades soon but bear in mind I am only currently trading to people in the UK like I am fairly new to trading and I just want to keep the cost down because I don't know how much it's going to cost to send to other countries to be honest and I've only really researched into basically postage in the UK. Got supplies for trades. If you want to know what my trades are go check out my photo card collection video and you should see them near the end. Also that video seems to have been like popping off recently. I don't know why um, but it's doing better than some of my other videos like that one and the Esquire Hyunjin one like honestly I've said it before and I'll say it again the power of Hyunjin <laughs> because anything I do that mentions him just gets so much attention like that man has so much power that I don't think he realizes he has also, thank you so much to everybody who's left me like really nice comments and anyone who's just left a like, any sort of engagement really, even shares, like shares are so strong. Like a share goes further than anything else. However, anything is appreciated. Honestly, like thank you so much. Cause I think just the engagement recently has really been helping me out with the algorithm because Honestly, like the views recently have been surprising me. <laughs> so again, thank you so much. And by the way, if you look at the views on those two videos, it's not that many in comparison to big channels. But if you bear in mind that I'm a small channel with less than 100 subscribers, the views on those two videos are actually really good for me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually really proud of them. It's doing well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different from what I normally do, but if you like anime, let me know. Um, what's your favorite anime and who's your favorite character? Like, I really want to know, cause to be honest, I don't know what my favorite series is or who my favorite character is. I've got so many favorite characters from so many series, but I don't know what my all time favorite is. Like, I struggle to pick one. <laughs> But let me know if you know yours. Hopefully this was an interesting video for you guys to watch. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like if you did and a comment to help me reach out to, um, this isn't gonna work here. <laughs> I normally say, to help me reach out to fellow stays. Well, help me reach out to fellow anime fans. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. Also, please feel free to share this video if you think anyone would be interested in it really helped me out a lot and I will see you guys next time. Bye!